you returned to London to run News International, which is the kind of UK newspaper division arm of News Corp. Mm. And that really brought about a, a, a real low in your career. And I'm talking about the phone hacking scandal yes. in the UK. Yes. And, uh, of course, we had the terrible case of the young schoolgirl, the schoolgirl Millie Dowler, yes. who was murdered in the 2002. Her phone had been hacked by a reporter from News of the World, one of the Murdoch titles, and um, messages were being deleted. And so it kind of gave hope to her family that she was ha somehow still alive when, of course, she'd been murdered. And it later emerged that hundreds of people had had their phones hacked and there mm. were criminal prosecutions mm. and so on. Mm. Surely that was the lowest point of your career. It, it, was, it was a very, very bad period. The, Millie Dowler's emails, it, it was a terrible travesty to have, to have gone into her voicemails, but there was, there was never any evidence that her voicemails were deleted. In fact, that was later found out not to be true. But the truth is, her email was hacked and, and, and many, other news, uh, many other people's uh, voicemails were hacked. It was the Millie Dowler, uh, the, the awful, gratuitous intrusion of that, that, that created the great firestorm that, that resulted in the hacking scandal. And um, uh, there's, no, there's no, ex no excuse for it. But how do you feel as somebody who was at the top of the organisation? Surely the buck had to stop with you. I mean, I tell you what the UK Parliament um, Select Committee for Culture and the Arts said in its report on the phone hacking. This culture we consider permeated from the top throughout the organisation and speaks volumes about the lack of effective corporate governance at News Corp and News International. You were at that top. That I, is... I was at the top, yeah. and, and I don't agree with that. I mean, the fact is that, in the end, the, 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 see, the trouble with talking about this is that you, I've got to be very careful not to seem to be diminishing the, the crimes that took place. But the number of people involved in it, however widespread the hacking was, in relation to the number of journalists and the, uh, others that worked at, at, at News International, News Corp, in London, we had the Times, the Sunday Times, the Times Literary Supplement, the Times Higher Education. There were loads. There was, there was, and I think in the end, eight people were either found guilty or pleaded guilty to phone hacking. And we employed... But that's 000. eight, and that's a lot. But I know, it is, I know this but is But I mean, there, problem, there was a lot of public outrage, but, but, and no, but, but, you know, there, Rupert Murdoch had a pie thrown in his all, face all of by, that, well, yes. you know, you know. But I but, mean, that's fair enough. But but the point is, what I'm trying to say is that the 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 the, the part of the politicians who compiled that report uh, had, I think, it, and I can discuss this if you want. They they, they wanted to blight the entire organisation because did you of what feel? happened. How did you sick, feel at the top sick, of it? Sick. I felt sick and I resigned. And I, I was long left when, the, when this happened, but I resigned from the company. Because as, as other executives also tendered their resignations. Well, they, well some did and, and, and others didn't. But, I, but the fact is, I knew nothing about it. Uh, I, I, hindsight is a great place from which to view everything perfectly. I did everything that I thought I should do at the time. Uh, and um, and this had happened, and when, when it, but it happened on, as the whole time on it, resignation term, on my watch, and I left. But it was a huge corporate failing of corporate governance. You accept that? I, I accept that it should not have happened, but, but I don't accept that there was some uh, um, corrupt um, acceptance or acknowledgement that this kind of thing happened, because it, it just isn't. True. You said, I mean, it's an ignominious end, arguably, to <laughs> a very illustrious career. Right, I think it was it such can, a blight I, I, on your career that you well, can say that I was proud of my career, but this one no, episode I, overshadows I, I, everything else. I, I, I was very proud of my career. I was very proud of the work but I did. that was such a big and that, and that was probably, thing. I think it's fair to agree, Zainab, not the ideal way to end it. I was 67 years old, uh, and I, along with many other people, were caught up into this storm. And, uh, and I'd much rather it hadn't happened. You but it did, and I don't feel ashamed of my career. I feel ashamed of that episode. You say you felt like a castaway in a hurricane, but do you yes. also feel that you were briefed against by people inside News Corp? Did that come from the top? Rupert I, well, Murdoch if I, if, I knew, if I knew exactly where it came from, then my book would have said so. Uh, but um, I don't, except I don't really believe that it was Rupert because he... he would. But it could have been. You don't know. Well, I, 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 I don't know who it was, but I don't believe it was his because I know how it works. He wouldn't brief. He had told me not. He had asked me not to resign uh, when I offered to, and then uh, I accepted it after this briefing had gone. But I, I don't think it was Rupert. No, but I don't know who it was. And. Um I mean, I say, you know, you kind of imply that that kind of journalism, tabloid approach, the kind of journalism that, critici that draws criticisms, is that a thing of the past for News Corp, do you think? 
Well, the... It, the, the it's the, not the, really, is well, it? Well, ha hang on. When you say think of the past, it's an impl it's sort of you're implying perhaps in the in the minds of some people watching this that it was a permeated permeating culture, and it wasn't. 